visto dioses volando. He visto hombres construyendo armas que no podían imaginar. Ajá. He visto extraterrestres descendiendo del cielo. Yeah. Pero nunca había visto nada como esto. ¿Qué más escondes? Hola. Ok, so congratulations on the movie. Um, first of all, I want to ask you, Daniel, uh, how did you end up in two films so iconic and relevant in one year as our Get Out and Black Panther? Is it just luck? Is it, is it your good taste? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I just, I was, I'm very blessed and very fortunate to be in. It, to, 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 like, it's, it's just films I want to watch. Mm. I've just seen films I want to watch and I like. And then it just so happened that a lot of people like Get Out too and wanted to watch it too. And with Panther, I like it too. And then hopefully when it comes out, I mean, with the advanced sales, picks up, a lot of people want to watch it. You know, it's that kind of like, I kind of just want to make films for my friends and, uh, and people around me that empowers my friends and people around me and just continue doing that. Mm. I think uh, those two have in common that they are two movies made by black people that talk about what it is to be black today. Mm -hmm. uh, am I wrong? Um, yeah. How, how did you apply that to Black Panther? Um, I think the, the metaphor Wakanda is, uh, is, says a lot about how what it's like to be black. I mean, growing up, I mean, if you're flashy with whatever you have, you're a target, you know? And, and it's that, that metaphor of like, you know, Wakanda, if we open the doors, what would we invite? You know, because mm. of what's happened in the history of Africa from the West. And um, so, yeah, it, I think it's just about telling the truth and telling uncomfortable truths, but doing it in an entertaining way and using cinema and genre to kind of let people in on a lot of levels and a lot of layers, because that's what I think we're here to do. Mm. Leticia, uh, you thought of Shuri first as a really serious character, mm. didn't you? Uh, what changed it? Uh, because of the fact that you know in these films um yeah just what i picked up from the script i thought she was just very you know straightforward serious um trying to help her brother on the mission um i never saw a humorous side to her or just that playful side to her so i didn't approach it like that and um ryan just really let me know that sure he has a lot of love and light in her and just positivity and The second that we would like say like cut, I would like run around and like tease people, pick on people, or like just bounce around like like a ball of energy. And he'd be like, "Hey, can you put that in Shuri?" And then it kind of clicked that yeah, she's 18 and she's pretty much just living her best life. You know, um, <laughs> she's living her best life at the moment, um, making things that she wants to make and um, creating new gadgets. So that is a that is a positivity and there, and there's a light. So that's how I had to flip it and approach it, and that's what you see on screen. I've heard that uh, Los Angeles premiere a few days ago was pretty emotional. Uh, did, did you leave it that way? Yeah, I think it's emotional in the sense that we were just so joyous mm. and happy that Ryan was able to, 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 to bring this to us, you know, and kind mm. of like seeing it up there, it's kind of like my inner child was so happy like mm. that this film is, exists now. and and. The effect that this could have mm. was very emotional and, and a lot of my friends and family that were there were like so excited about it you know everyone was the energy of that after party was just so joyous mm. i thought i want to talk about the uh, training you had to endure before the film and it was like a boot camp or can you tell me about it um there was one day when dora melage <laughs> they, would, they would train us the dora girls mm. they would like do these circuits these yeah. ab circuits oh, and man. they're like no and we had to join them and they were, yeah. tish was cool me and winston <laughs> not cool and we were like our court is messed up we've got a lot of work to do that was like kind of amazing training with these these stunt women that were just like tip top yeah, pretty shape. much they pretty much taught us a lot that we needed to know like also had the the fight trainers and stuff like that but you know they would split us up and put us um in different corners of the rooms and and then the ladies who played the dora malaje is like they they would teach us they would teach me what i needed to know so yeah like it was amazing Great. Uh, my last question is, um, this is a really important film in terms of uh, representation. Um, now you are heroes for black kids. Uh, as a black child, did you have 
black heroes and fiction? Uh, did I have fictional heroes? Will Smith was one. Wow. What's his name Will Smith? In Fresh Prince, his name was Will Smith, yeah. It was just Will Smith. Yeah, it was just Will. Yeah, it was Will. just Will. So I think that was kind of a, a fictional hero of, of mine on the TV screen growing um, up. For mine, it's uh, Kiki Palmer and Akilah and the Bee. Like, yeah, Akilah was a, a fictional hero for me because she's, like, got glasses on, doing spelling, doing chess on the side, like, mm-hmm. sick. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much, very much. Estamos ante un nuevo mundo. ¡Lo voy a quemar todo! Lo que ocurra ahora va a determinar lo que le ocurra al resto del mundo.